In this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the best ways to pay off your student loans fast. Student loans could be a heavy burden on your finances, but with a solid plan and commitment, you can find a way to pay them off sooner than later. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jason. This is a Penny Pinterest Guide to Personal Finance. In this video, we're gonna really break it down and find the best way for you to pay off those loans in a timely manner. If you do like this video or if you do get some good benefit from it, then consider hitting that subscribe and that like button so that we know to put more videos out like this. And if you don't like it, then hit that, that dislike button so that we know to stop doing that. So let's jump right into these tips and tricks. Okay, so the first strategy that we're gonna talk about is gonna be the snowball strategy. And this one is where you're gonna be focusing on paying the smallest loan off first and then moving up after that. You're still gonna pay the minimums for all the other loans, but you're just focusing on the smallest loan. So then after you finish that initial small loan, you take the money that you were paying on that loan and you then apply it additionally to the second loan that you have on your debt. And then from there, it just continues snowballing where you then take that money that you're paying on the second loan and you lump in the third and the fourth until you get to the final one, you pay it off. So this strategy for paying off your loans is good because it gives you some momentum as you continue to pay off the smaller one and the next smaller one and this next smaller one. You build and build and build until you get to the final one. It also gives you a sense of accomplishment because you do get to pay off one of the smaller ones faster and then you get another accomplishment when you get to the next one. So this one will work great for people that want to have something to look forward to or have these little small intervals of accomplishment when they are going to pay off their loans. So the other strategy that we're gonna be talking about is gonna be the avalanche strategy. This one is gonna be focused more so on the ones that have the highest interest rates. So you'll find out which one of your loans has that highest interest rate and you'll focus all of your money on that one until you pay that one off. You'll still be paying the minimums for the other ones, but you will do the highest one first and then from there you'll start ticking your way down. Now this is a great strategy because over the long run you're gonna be paying less in interest comparatively to the snowball method but it will take a little bit longer because you're focusing on the higher interest ones first. Now this interest rate is particularly good for the if you have any debt that have high interest rates associated with them because then you can start focusing on those rates and saving interest in the long run. Okay, the next option for reducing that debt faster would be to consider taking a refinance loan to pay off your debt. If you have multiple different loans, you could potentially talk with a bank, refinance it, get one big loan to cover all of that with a lower interest rate, potentially decreasing those payments and decreasing the interest that you're paying on it. Then you can adjust your payments to pay it off faster or slower depending on what you need to do. Now this doesn't always work out in your favor, so make sure that if you are gonna refinance that it does give you a benefit and sometimes the fees and the, all the other requirements associated with it outweigh all the benefits. You should also keep in mind that you need a really good credit score as well as a stable income to be able to do this refinancing. So just make sure it fits into your financial situation. Another way to potentially pay off your debt a little bit faster would be to ask or to see if your particular lender will allow you to pay on a bi-monthly basis. So if you can make two payments per month, uh, just half of the whole payment that you need to do, that will actually reduce the total amount of interest that you will pay for the longevity of the loan. You can also consider making some payments in addition to the regular payments to reduce the total amount of the loan over the long run. Now, even though it might not be a lot that you can put into that loan, if you're just doing some payments, that will end up decreasing the longevity of it and save you some money in the long run. Now, if you can't do an extra payment on a monthly basis, then I would consider making one lump sum at least once per year in addition to the already monthly payments that you're paying on your loan because that will greatly decrease the amount that you'll be paying and the longevity of the loan. Now, there are several different strategies out there for decreasing your total debt and paying it off a little bit faster from the snowball method to the avalanche method. You can also consider refinancing it, making extra payments, but in the end, it's gonna depend on your financial situation and what your total goals are with your debt. There is no one correct answer to what you should be doing, but really find out which one fits into your situation and then stick with it. It is really important to have a solid plan and then be committed to that plan so that you can ensure that you pay off those loans in a timely manner to get you back into a more sound financial situation. And with time and dedication, you can become debt free and isn't that what we all want? I hope you got some good information from this video. If you did, then hit that like and subscribe button. If you're interested in some more videos talking about investments as well as ways to continue to grow your wealth, then there will be a link up here at the top of the video. And as always, I wanna remind you that we are here from your first penny to your first million. We'll see you next time.